probably remember the DVX100, the very first video camera able to record in progressive mode. And today, Panasonic innovates again. The DVX200 is the first handheld 4K camera with a large sensor and an integrated Leica Decomore lens. This choice allows the engineers to obtain a large focal ratio, 13 times, within compact and light lens. Also, the integrated zoom has some important advantages compared to removable lenses such as having a large focal range on a single lens as well as a macro mode. A consistency in the images at any focal may be in terms of colorimetry, resolution or sharpness. Important functions such as a motorized zoom, the autofocus or the optical stabilization. A pumping level near to zero. A focus compensation during the zoom, also called tracking. A chromatic aberration compensation, the image processor being developed solely for this lens, it knows exactly how to correct the aberrations or the distortions. The integrated lens makes the DVX200 the ideal camera for shooting whenever reactivity is needed, but still with the atmosphere given by a large sensor, shallow depth of field and wide dynamic range. When shooting a fiction, one looks mainly for shallow depth of field and grading possibilities. The DVX200 matches these needs thanks to its 4 3rd sensor and its log curve. The log curve allows to use the 12 dynamic stops of the sensor and therefore to manage contrasts that are way more important than with the HD, film-like or scene-like curves. The log curve allows by nature to spread in a more natural way the amount of samples and so of the gray shades between the high and low lights. The log curve of the DVX200 is the same as the one used with the Vericam 35, which is why it is also called V-Log. And by the way, it's also the one used with the Lumix GH4. Four two zero eight bits allows keeping 4K recording data rate acceptable and to produce files that are easy to tweak in post-production. However, a simple calculation shows that a 4204K image has three times more information than a 422HD image and twice more than a 444HD image. It is also interesting to note that an 8-bit 4K image contains as much gray shades as a 10-bit HD image. Besides, for 422 10-bit recording, it is absolutely possible to use the HDMI 422 10-bit output along with an external recorder. Let's now focus on a few functions. With the VFR mode, the DVX200 can generate slowdowns up to 120 images per second, as well as time lapses. The background recording lets you record permanently and in loops on the second memory card while you shoot the regular way on the first one. So if you have missed a take, you can find it back on the second card. The DVX200 also has a macro mode as well as a movable oscillograph. The 5-axis hybrid stabilization uses the optical stabilization as well as the pixel margin of the sensor. The stabilization can be personalized. The focus axis function lets one use simultaneously a picking function as well as an expand function. It is possible to focus by pointing directly on the touchscreen. The focus transition functions allows to memorize three focus distances and to precisely and smoothly switch between the three of them during the recording. The gain can be set by 1 dB steps during the recording. If you want to know more about the DVX200 specs, please visit our Panasonic website. This camera is now available at the price of 4,690 euros and has a three years warranty.